Previously on Dance Moms. This is the competition that determines who is dancing at nationals. Do I have a solo? Tough it up. I have to worry about what's best for the Abby Lee Dance Company. And if that means some people are not dancing, that's what it means. <laughs> I forgot to dance. I know what happened. Coming up on Dance Moms. Girls, this is for nationals. The candy apple dance setter can't wait to beat your ass. Don't you understand? They should be afraid of you. I was talking about how my daughter's come 3,000 miles to do three steps. And be lucky she's doing those three steps. I can't make it. Everybody. Good morning. Hello. Intensity dance was intense. I saw lots of mistakes, and yet this was the week where every solo needed to strive for perfection. This was the last competition before we go to nationals. You were duly warned. We won that 2011 national title. I want to win it again. Now, this week, we're gonna stay right here in sunny Los Angeles, but we are going to the most famous zip code. Oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. We are going to 90210 <laughs> Beverly Hills. <laughs> we are going to the Energy Dance National Invitational. Several competitions are doing this now where they invite you to come to their nationals. So it's very prestigious and quite an honor to be invited. So let's get to the pyramid. Paige, you knew you were gonna be there. You forgot your dance. You have so much more talent than you're able to show, A, because of an injury, and B, because you don't remember what you're doing. Next. Nia, I thought you could have been better. I need you to be just as strong at the end as you are at the beginning. Next, I have Chloe. Sixth place is Miss Chloe with act number 59, Ghost. Chloe, you've been consistently in the top five for most of your life. Sixth is not good enough for you. Kendall, you came out there strong. You were exciting. You were energized. Your tricks were clean. Your movements were sharp. You attacked them everything a great jazz dance needs to be. When you started your turns, they were a bit sluggish. Even your mother pointed that out to me. Kendall beat Chloe this week. That's huge. Kendall deserves to be higher on that pyramid. Moving along. Brooke, you won. You were in the overall high scores. I was proud of you. But you know what? You are capable of doing more. And you're lazy. And you're sitting there saying, this is good. I can coast. I'm still winning. Still getting a platinum. I can just step out there and do one chin stand and get a platinum. That's what I see happening. Next, Mackenzie. It's the easy stuff that you mess up. The round up by can spring was great. The side aerial was great. The aerial walkover was great. This, come on. And Maddie, you're on top of the pyramid. Are you glad to be there? Abby's already defined Maddie as her national winner. Was it better to win or better to sit in the audience while everybody else gets better? Better to win. Maddie is on top of the pyramid, of course. Her performance alone put her there. Now, everyone is in the group routine, and this group routine is very disturbing. And the title is My Last Text. This routine should leave the judges feeling something. This week, we're doing a group number called My Last Text, and it's really weird and scary. Energy Dance is allowing us to do four additional routines. Mackenzie, you're doing a solo this week. Maddie, you will have a solo because you just won the overall. Brooke, you will be doing the Diary of Anne Frank. Paige, you will not have a solo this week. I want you to concentrate on the group dance, and I want you to remember it. Nia, Kendall, and Chloe. We're gonna teach all three of you the same choreography. 
Originally, I thought that Chloe would be my fourth solo selected. But after she ended up sixth, and Kendall beat her, and Nia looked great in the group dance, I don't know if Chloe's the right choice or not. So you three, get your game faces on. And remember, they're not your friends. They're your competitors. Abby gives out the solos. She has one solo left to give out. And the three of them are going to have to compete for this final solo position. I think this is ridiculous and unfair. I really, really want for Kendall to have a solo. She deserves it. Moms, you are dismissed. Girls, spread apart. Grand plie in second. He'll stretch in front. So here's a car seat. OK, Maddie, get in the passenger seat right there. This number is called the last text. I have this vision. We're going to put the kids in a car, even though they're really a little young to be driving. Now you're in a car. So when she turns, everybody, everybody has to lean. <laughs> I'm going to use Paige as the driver. She doesn't have to do too much. Kelly will probably hit the roof, but Paige is beautiful to look at. They're on their phones, and they're taking pictures of each other. That's what little kids do. And then in the music, boom, there's a car crash on each tank. They're not hearing this. If Maddie can pull this number off with her acting skills, it's going to win. It's going to win everything. Paige, for God's sakes, you haven't even danced yet. Sit up straight. I think having Nia and Chloe and Kendall dance against one another for a solo is crappy. Naturally, all the kids want it, and you have to beat your friend to get it. My thought is, I think it's ridiculous that she already happen. has Whoa. someone picked for that solo. And I'm pretty confident Abby doesn't want Nia to do that solo. Push, two, three, four. Now grab her and pull her away from her, away. Last week, she made it crystal clear to all of us, what you do this week, that's why she gave everybody a solo, is who gets what at nationals. Everybody who came in score-wise got a solo, except, except for Kendall. Kendall. Front. So right. how I see it is. She's giving Chloe another chance. Yep, yeah, she's giving it to Chloe. But that's Kendall beat Chloe. It was Kendall's week. So give it to her then. I'm worried your three kids are going to be not focused now, because they're doing the group dance right now. And they're going to be worried, oh my god, oh my god, I have to compete against my friends to get a solo. But I also wonder if that is another motivating factor to try to teach those kids you need to want it. But that's just not in Chloe's nature. Were you? Did you almost, who almost tripped over her? All right, guys, go grab a drink. I think I lost. Oh my Outside, and all of a sudden, the girls burst through the door, and everybody's like freaked out a little bit. And they're like, Oh, the music's really creepy. And Mackenzie gets ejected from the car, and I'm thinking, like, What the hell kind of dance is this? So, like, we're all like dying throughout the dance. Who's texting? Who's the culprit? We're doing what? Just Nothing. ignore it, Paige. She's just doing it to be a mean person. Oh my god! Hi, Abby. The candy apple dance setter can't wait to beat your ass at Energy's National Invitationals. XOXO, Kathy. Gianna gets a tweet from Kathy saying, like, the candy apples are on their way to nationals to kick the ALDC's ass. This is a whole new ball game. They're going to be hungry for it, though. I know. And they've That's probably the been working on this dance for, like, how long? Months. And we're learning ours in two days. I think knowing that the candy apples are going to be here, Abby is going to push the girls more. So all the girls need to step it up this week. Sweet from head to feet. No, that's something that can't be beat. Mackenzie has a solo. It's music I've used before. It's called Honey Bee, but I think Mackenzie is more of a killer bee. Beautiful. She's gonna go out there and sting her competition. If Vivian happens to be waiting in the wings and gets stung, oh well. 
Hope she's not allergic to bees. Girls, this is for nationals. I'm giving Brooke the diary of Anne Frank. Now, Brooke learned this routine about four weeks ago, so she should have it down pat. She can do these tricks in her sleep. She's going to get out there, she's going to be beautiful, and she's going to nail it, or she's going to be sloppy, and she's not going to win. It's up to Brooke. You have to realize that nobody from Kathy's is going to come close to you. If you do this dance the way I taught it to you, you're going to win. She has everything required to be a national title holder. Hold. Boom. Run, run, run. Stop. Spin, spin, spin. Maddie's doing another contemporary solo called Telling Myself. And it's telling herself, I am back in the game. I want to win. I want it. Right. Yes. Yeah. She's almost being a little cocky and telling the judges, I'm too good for you. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve me. or we all say, when Maddie's getting better by doing this, Paige has been sitting here for two days doing I, nothing. I know, but the other Not girls are dancing, the too. Seat. There's a turn. Is there a turn right there? I think it's hard. Yeah, it's when mothers are ripping on you right in front of your face. He's ripping on us. I didn't say anything about Maddie. And Abby, by the way, I was not talking about Maddie. I was talking about how my daughter's come 3,000 miles to do three steps. And being lucky she's doing those three steps. Why? After she Why went out there and screwed up her dance and didn't do it and forgot again at 11 years old. What? I'd get back to the pediatrician and find out what's wrong, Kelly. For real? Find out what's wrong. Go. Let's go, Paige. Brooke, you can leave class, too. You know what? It's getting kind of old, Kelly. You need to think of some new tricks, because this whole little temper tantrum from a 40-something-year-old woman is pathetic. I've seen Kelly storm out a time or 20, and this time it just feels different. Abby said something so rotten about Paige, I can't blame Kelly. I would have done the exact same thing. I get it. We all get it. We know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking you're the world's worst mother because you're allowing this to happen. Has she done one thing with Paige for nationals this entire time that would make you think that she wants her here? No. And I said one word about it. And she tells me I need to take my daughter to the doctors. I don't know how much people think I can take. I can't take it. Her. Lean on us. If you mm -hmm. can't do it, lean on us, and mm -hmm. we will do I mean, it this for you. This is going to give me a nervous can't breakdown. I can't do it. Kelly is a puddle of tears right now. She's distraught. She's distressed. She's had to watch Paige being overlooked week after week. And I'm not sure she can take much more of this. We cannot that's let that's this it. woman win. We need you. That's fine. They can do it. But... I can't do this anymore. This is just one more reason why I think I need to pull my kids out of the studio. We walk into rehearsals this morning, and Kelly is nowhere to be found. If Kelly doesn't come back, Abby can feel free to replace me, too, because you know what? We're a two for one. No Kelly, no Christy, because I'm not putting up with these people alone. Hey! Hi! Look what the cat dragged in. Hello! The party is here. The party is <laughs> I talked to my kids, and they want to go back to practice. They really want to do nationals. So I'm going to toughen up, and we're going to finish out the year. How are you going to react to Abby when you see her? I don't know. I'm nervous. You say you haven't talked to her at all? I'll okay. You know, I know her comments to be, well, you left. But I keep leaving because she keeps doing things to make me leave. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just sit there and, like, take it? Hello? I need all of you. We're going to do the solo audition final. I'm going to have an audition. But Holly, Christy, and Jill will be judging. So the girls were actually going to audition for their own mothers. I love only silence in here. There is no use all the time. I love sunny landscapes. I love the sky. Abby maintains that the moms will decide who gets the fourth solo, but we all know who has the final decision when it comes to any dancing at the Abby Lee Dance Company. A woman who will say. 
Okay. We're going to start with Jill. I pick Kendall. I'm okay. sorry. To me, a no-brainer. Chrissy. I obviously pick Chloe. She's been with you since she was two years old. I think Chloe has been a team player for a long time. Holly? I would say Mia. I really enjoyed watching her perform the piece. All right, so we have a three-way tie. This is a big waste of time because ultimately, we all know that Abby's going to pick who gets the solo. So, Melissa, you get to break the tie. Oh, my god. I put Melissa on the spot because I am sick and tired of her being goody-goody and playing sides with everybody. She's this one's best friend one day, and then this one's best friend the next day talking about that one. That's what she does. I think that Nia should get this opportunity because she goes 100%. And she has shown us yeah. that she can do different. Based on that performance, you would put Nia on that stage. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm, you wouldn't, but I'm not a You judge. asked us to mom. base it on that I performance. But yeah. she gave her opinion, so rest. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings. No, it doesn't hurt I, my feelings. Went, I didn't want to know Joe, about all the wigs Joe, she wore in silence. the hat. I think this is ridiculous and unfair. Kendall beat Chloe fair and square. Kendall deserves the solo. Melissa, all personal issues aside, who do you think is going to give us the most points? Chloe. That's what a judge needs to do. I just said it, and I'm not saying it again, because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's already because done, Melissa. You, we already Kendall, knew. I think you were wonderful. I do. I think you were great. We already knew who was going to get it. Of course yeah. we knew. Because you wanted her to beat me. This whole thing is not fair. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Oh, yes. my gosh. It's a solo, Jill. Relax. That's right. You relax, Holly. Then relax. I'm not doing this anymore. This is ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. You know what, Kendall? You don't have to worry about it. I would love for you to go and beat the crap out of candy apples. I'm not allowed to do any more solos. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Kendall. Thank All you. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Why does everybody keep warming up? Because this is going to be a long day. This is the last day of the rehearsal. I don't want to be cocky. There's a lot of people coming to this competition. Some really, really tough schools in the California area have been invited. And I know that I always have a target on my back. I don't want any excuses. Nobody's forgetting and running off. My new solo is called Silence, and it has a lot of emotions, and I really like it. I'm going to work the hardest that I've ever worked on a solo before, because I really want to make Nia and Kendall proud since they didn't get their opportunity. OK, breathe. Listen to her breathing. Breathe. You okay? You gotta breathe. You're not breathing the whole time, and there's breaths in there. I don't think Chloe is going into nationals with the confidence that she should have. I mean, Chloe got sixth last week, and to be beat by Kendall, I think, was a little bit of a blow to her confidence. I'm always the first to hug her and say, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. But I want her to do great at nationals, so maybe it's time that I push her a little more than just coddle her. Honey, you learned that dance yesterday, OK? And the difference between what you did yesterday and today is amazing. You are not messing up everything, OK? Like, I know that you can go do that dance, Chloe. I know you can. I know you can. It doesn't matter what I know. You have to know it, OK? Let me just give you a little bit of background about this place. It's a little under our budget. This is a wonderful opportunity. We're here in LA. The owner of the dance competition has seen us. She gave us a personal invite. Oh, there's people in here. Ay, 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 ay. That's a butt I don't want to see. Didn't want to see that. Oh, 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 oh my oh. god. What the heck? Are they test crash dummies? What are they doing? What's she trying What's to she do? What are those nails? Ew. Okay, well, you know what, guys? Studio B? Yeah, now I know why this was under our budget. Obviously, oh. anybody can crawl into Beverly Hills these days because they're even letting Kathy in. Girls, those dancers walked in and immediately 
You fell into it. Don't you understand? They should be afraid of you. Yeah. yeah. Since this is all about him and Clean Chloe. Clean Chloe's clock. Clean Chloe's clock. Clean Chloe's clock. Clean Chloe's clock. It's time to get ready with solos. Let's do it. Just to let you guys know, I was just in the bathroom getting a drink, and they're out there chanting. Thank you. Clean Chloe's clock. Clean Chloe's clock. Oh, give me a break, please. Okay, Justice, what are you supposed to look like? You are telling a story also. Go out there and beat Justice. <laughs> Girls, listen to me. Do not even associate with Kathy. Just turn and walk away. So here we are. It's Nationals. We walked into Energy Dance with our heads held high. And I think that this is going to be a great day. Girls, come on. This is Nationals. You've worked all year. Every single day that you've been in that studio rehearsing, every weekend that we've flown to a competition or has led up to this point today, what you do on that stage could change the rest of your life. Understood? Maddie, you were up first. Chloe, I'm gonna have you get ready because we need to do some psyching out with justice. Come on, let's go. Listen, nationals, this is it for us, okay? We go home after this and it would be nice if we could leave here with a national win. We have a confidence level that knows that we're a classy act. We have a wonderful routine that is very heartfelt that I think that finally we may be able to possibly beat Abby. This is nationals. It'd be great if we could pull out a win. It's Kathy making a complete idiot out of herself and those poor kids. How do they put up with it? I would be mortified if my teacher ever did that. No matter what the wide load has to say about us, we were invited and we have every right to be here. Don't forget, Chloe, you're going backstage with Maddie. Find Justice. Get in his face, do one right turn. All right, Justice, in the event that anybody is backstage from Abby Lee and they comment, good luck, that's right, smart boy, and they comment, don't let it rattle you. If she would say something to you. Let's do it. Come on. I'm kind of nervous because it's a really hard competition and it's nationals and I really, really want to win. Please welcome to the stage entry number 9A. This is Maddie performing Telling Myself. Now's the time you change your mind and decide that you don't want me. Even though I cry sometimes, I know in the back of my mind. I Maddie will be is right. on the Maybe money. She's hitting right. everything, she has those judges in the palm of her hand. It's like watching a 25-year-old professional on that stage. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Woo! Woo! Good job! Woo! Maddie went out on stage and did exactly what Abby wanted her to do. She wanted the emotions to be there, her technique. It was amazing. Moving on to entry number 31B. Please welcome to the stage Justice performing Never Surrender. Justice beats these two girls. I mean, I saw tons of flaws in the choreography. Justice's kicks are amazing. His technique is flawless. I mean, I think he's doing a fabulous job, and I, I couldn't be more proud of him. 
Good job. Maddie, that was a national award-winning solo. You just set the bar really high for everybody else that's going to dance today. This is Nationals, and the Abby Lee Dance Company came to win. Staying on the words. Abby is so sidetracked with Kathy being here. Like, my daughter ran her dance 10 times, and not she once did she even look at her. Like, she's on stage next. Brooke is going for a national title, and nobody's working with her. This is it. You've come a long way, and you're going out there to put Vivian in her place. If you don't win, it defeats the whole purpose of doing the bee dance. And I look like an idiot. And that's not going to happen around Kathy. Come on, girls. Game faces. Let's do it. Please welcome to the stage entry number 43A, Brooke performing Diary of Van Token, I'm hurting my kids by pulling them out of there because they love to dance. And so I don't know what's worse. It's going to be a tough decision. <laughs> Brooke was just gorgeous. Everything she did was perfect. And for once, Brooke actually used emotion. about my dance, The Killer Bee, except I'm really nervous because I don't know what Kathy and Vivi are going to do to me. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Mackenzie performing. <laughs> Tastes so sweet from head to feet. No, that's something that can't be beat. No word of a lie, so don't even try. I'm not a big fan of this dance at all. Mackenzie loves her costume. She loves the dance. She loves the hair bows. She loves it all. And you can tell that when you're watching her dance. She stepped out on stage like that killer bee, and she buzzed, 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 buzzed around that stage like there was no tomorrow. I think she gave those judges a good sting, and they know all about Mackenzie. Oh, oh the girls! Congratulations! It's time for Chloe to do her solo, and this isn't going to be easy. You know, Chloe's dancing against Maddie, and Maddie's amazing, and she's dancing against Justice, and he's pretty amazing too. And you dance for Kendall, and you dance for Nia, and you dance for Chloe because they wish they had the same chance you did. Okay. <laughs> It's coming down to these two minutes on stage. You can either do it or you can choke. Hey, listen to me. Maddie went out there, nailed her number. Brooke went out there, nailed that number. I need you to do it too. Okay. Justice beat me last time, and now the pressure is on that I have to beat him, and I think silence will do that. Please welcome to the stage, Chloe performing Silence. I love only silence in here. There is no use of time. I love sunny landscapes. I love the sky. I'm very happy that Chloe won the solo. She has worked hard 
And I think she has something to prove to Abby that she's a great dancer and she can beat Justice. I think Chloe needs this solo probably more than anybody else at that studio. Competition. Chloe went out there and she danced as well as she can. And she didn't choke and she believed in herself. So she won no matter who gets that crown. Five, six, seven, eight. I think that my Two, bushel three. of apples think that it's fun to go up against there Abby. Do they want to see some more victories underneath their belts? Of course. You have to pull it together now. Okay, this is Nationals, National Invitation, Energy Dance. You got to pull it together. We don't want to go home big time losers. Everybody got their umbrellas? Let's do it. Let's go. All right, let's go, guys. Please welcome to the stage Candy Apples Dance Company with The Storm. about our group number. It's creative and it's original and piece all together is very well done. There is no way that this routine would be winning. But I'm not a judge. And I don't know those three people. Let the talent speak for itself. All right, come on, girls. I need you to focus. This is Nationals. We came all this way and worked hard and rehearsed in crappy little studios to get to this point. Don't blow it right now. Don't be the kid that ruins the entire number. I'm confident. The girls are confident. But you never know. This is a national competition. Everybody came to win. Let's go. Please welcome to the stage, The Last Text. I'm a little afraid that something called The Last Text may be a little too bloody and gory for a national title. Dragging out this crappy looking car seat. Did that come off of Christie's front porch? I don't know. But I'd have to tell you that her piece was, was absolutely brilliant. There came that moment where it was silent. And in a choreographer's life or dance teacher's life, those moments are few and far between. Nobody knew whether to clap or cry or what to do. That was a great moment in my life. Wow. OK, thank you, ladies. Big round of applause for our t-shirt throwers. All right, everybody. 
In third place, Energy Petite Solo, goes to entry number two, Black Betty Diego from Beach City Dance Center. Our second place Energy Petite Solo goes to entry number 31, It's All About Me, from Beach City Dance Center. And our first place top scoring Energy Petite Soloist goes to entry number 52A, Killer B, Mackenzie, from the Abbey Lee Dance Center. Mackenzie is also our title winner for Miss Energy. So we would like to crown her now. Congratulations. She's not Maddie, but she's Mackenzie. And she's an amazing little dancer. I'm just very proud of her. We're going to move over to the energy team solo. Our fourth place top score goes to entry number 66, S. Our second place goes to white blank page, Dominique from Hamrossi's. Dance in our first place, Energy Team Solo, Miss Energy being crowned for our 2012 national finals here in LA goes to Brooke Highland. <laughs> and Brooke won this national title without Abby's help. Brooke worked her butt off in that dressing room all by herself. She did that without her dance teacher. Moving on to our Energy Junior Solo Division. In fourth place is entry number 31A, Mary, performing Can't Touch It from SMCE Dance Center. So we're down to the final three, and the last three dancers standing are Justice, Chloe, and Maddie. Any spot that she gets, I'm going to be proud. She couldn't have danced better. Third place goes to Never Surrender, Justice from the Candy Apple Dance Center. Hallelujah. Chloe beat Justice. And second place, Junior Solo, which was very, very close by a fifth of a point, goes to Telling Myself, Maddie Ziegler from the Amelie Dance Center. As soon as they announced Maddie as the second place winner, Everybody there knew Chloe won. And our first place, Energy Junior Solo for our Nationals in Beverly Hills, also being crowned Miss Energy, goes to Chloe from the Abilene Dance Center. Congratulations. And we are going to crown Chloe Miss Energy today. It feels really good to be winning Junior Miss Energy and getting the crown and plaque and the trophy. This is a really good step in my dance career, and I just hope that Maddie's happy for me, too, because I'm always happy for her when she wins. Really good. Everybody did a wonderful job. Take a bow. Chloe, outstanding in her performance. Thank she you. was the winner. She stood there very proud to win that crown, and I'm thrilled. We're going to move over to the Energy Junior small group. In third place, the Story Eight Count Dance Academy. Second place goes to Troop at Beverly Hills. And our top scoring national winner for the Energy Junior small group goes to entry number 138. Came to nationals, we won. The Ivy League Dance Company remains a force to be reckoned with. There are few dances in my lifetime that I have literally walked away and thought about days later, and I just wanted to keep reliving Abby's last text number because it was brilliant. Kelly, what's wrong? Nothing. I just... It's hard to watch your kids on stage and think it's the last time you're going to watch them dance. I just... 
just don't want to come back. It has been a really hard year. I, I'm just tired of Abby and just the way she treats them. Personally, I don't want to get into an argument, but I think a lot of things are taken for granted. And I think you don't know how lucky you have it and how lucky your kids are. How can you really say that my kids are lucky? Really? They're here. Every other dance studio, they're back in Pittsburgh already. People think I'm cold. They don't realize the hell that that woman has put me through. Find somebody else that's going to do what I've done for your children. I thought Brooke was outstanding. Yeah, but Brooke was outstanding because Brooke went over there and practiced on her own. Right, Kelly, you she's 14 years old, and she the should. The entire day. She finally <laughs> wanted something. The reason she's third or fourth or sixth is because of her face. She wised up, she went out there, and she should. She did what she should have been doing in September. <laughs> Everybody's back in the dressing room. The kids are celebrating. They know they went out there and nailed it. They felt the response of the judges and the audience. Girls, congratulations. Everybody that danced the solo, you were outstanding. You beat Justice. Woohoo, Brooke, you beat all those girls that were two feet taller and their legs were up to here. And the group number, everybody did what they needed to do. And everybody was an integral part of it. And I thought it was wonderful. We did it. Justice. Has been served. Congratulations. Thank you, Abby. I really hope, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, that you put some time and space between yourself and the situation and you think things through. I never really thought that the time would come that Kelly would make a decision that she's done. Nobody here wants to see any of you leave. The team definitely won't be the same without Kelly Page and Brooke. Dysfunctional as it may be, we're definitely a family. This team is not a team without you guys. It's not. You're my sister. And you're my family. You cannot leave me here. You can't. <laughs>